Anyway, you guys, back to the chess. Um, <laughs> back to the chess. Um, okay, round two, I'm playing Maxim Lagarde. I think I'll play e4, keep it simple. He'll probably play, he likes e5, or no, he's gonna play c5, okay. Let's keep it simple here. I forget what he plays. Let's just play h3. James Harden isn't so special. I didn't say James Harden was great. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, um, yeah, let's play d4 takes. Go knight f3. Okay, so I can take, I can also just play bishop b3 with bishop g5 next move, which I think is fine. I do have a beard, yes. Not that that should matter, but I do have a beard, for what it's worth. Um, oh no, queen e2 has got knight d4, whoops. I can play bishop b3, I can also play, I'm gonna go bishop g5 and try to trade here. They need me on CNBC, thanks for the 100 bits, Texas time, chess monkey. Thank you to Chris Crump for the three months. Thank you so much. There's take. I can play bishop d5, but I think knight d5 is fine. So takes, takes, takes. I take, and then I take and take. I can trade, I don't really want to. C3 or Queen D3 makes sense. I think Queen D3 should be fine. Yeah, Maxime Lagarde is, uh, I played him in Gibraltar, I think, two years ago. Very solid player. This will be on YouTube, yeah. I think, I don't know. Do I read Reddit? I don't really look at Reddit much. Plays rook c5. Hmm. Maybe knight e3. Oh, knight c3 takes takes knight c4. Knight a4 though. I think I'll just drop the knight back. Actually, you know, I realize in this position I should have put the bishop here, not the knight here. That was a mistake by me. Have I considered becoming a moderator on Wall Street Bets? 
I've, I've read an article on Bloomberg about Wall Street bets recently, but no. That's uh, so B1. I'm losing my hair. No, I'm not. I, I think it's just the headphones. The, head, the way the headphones cut it, because I, I, I slick my hair straight back, so the way the headphones are, it actually looks like it. Webcam's frozen, didn't look... I don't read Reddit. I did a, I did an AMA, but I don't read Reddit. So I think, I mean, I, that seems legit to me. Is B5 an issue here? Also, Knight A4. Or Rook FD1 is a move as well. Knight D5 is obviously a move. I'm gonna play knight d2 and maybe rook fd1 here after b5. Don't really like what I'm doing in this position, but it's still probably okay. Yeah, I did an AMA Reddit like three or four years ago. Maybe it was, it was 2015, you guys are saying? So maybe it was even longer ago than that. Now if I take, take 22, because he doesn't have f5 to knight a4. This is a huge threat. Now if I get knight f1, knight e3, knight d5, I'm much better. This pawn is soft on d6, so I think I'm doing well here. Now he plays queen c6, so I can still play knight f1, of course. Knight d5 actually looks like a reasonable move as well. I don't like my position that much here, though, to be honest. It's not... it doesn't feel quite right. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play knight d5 and try to soften it up a little bit here. Just knight c4, right? Actually, no, queen c4, queen c4 is rook c5, so knight c4 is right. I'll pre-move. He's not going to take, but I'll pre-move it. I think knight e3 looks good. Ah, uh, then he takes. Yeah, knight e3 looks great actually. Takes a knight d5 or knight f5. Yeah, evolution of the surfboard. I mean, it's a great background. What can I say? I mean, even if he goes bishop g5 here, I don't. Even, I can even just play c3, and I'm slightly better with this pawn structure. Doesn't mean I'll win, but I'm doing completely fine. Again, if we're up three one, so as long as I stabilize it and try to play for two results, I should be doing great. It's it's where three results are possible that it gets a little bit iffy. I don't really want three results in play. Queen a7, queen c2. They'll just play c3 and queen e3. Hit the pawn, hit the pawn. Uh, 
Maybe it's just a draw. Although I did queen c5 maybe? Ah, he's got queen b1, queen f5. That's annoying. Hmm. Ah, but then I've got queen a7. Of course he can't take the back rank mate. I'm a magician getting out of terrible position to at least equal now. Yeah, I mean, that that's kind of the point. This game has not been really very, very good for me. I can also play rook c6 here. Rook c5. Okay, let's see. Rook c6, g6 doesn't look right. Let's just play... Um, let's just play b4. Fide decision about handshakes, huh? What? Is there some news I missed on Fide? Okay, so he wants queen one, queen c3 if I take a7. So I assume I just ignore it with b5. So he plays h5. So now I can definitely take, checking if she takes b6, b7 is coming really fast here. I mean, the good news is I can't lose, so now I just need to, I need to maximize the value here. Rook d7, rook a7 looks strong. c4 also, no, c4 doesn't look right, does it? c4 Yeah, let's think about this. d7 looks pretty good, just hit the pawn. Fide has said no one has to shake hands. <laughs> Once again, like, I don't even know what to make of, out of all this stuff. It's just weird. Kissing only, no shaking hands. Yeah, French kissing, right? Yeah. Need to implement the Demolition Man greeting? Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. This is a really ugly position. Maxime really, I mean Lagarde of course, not MVL, um, really made a mess out of this. Because now, I'm sure with correct play you can still draw it. But it's very, very ugly. And the Queen on C5 is great. It supports the pawn. I can bring the Rook back even if I can see this D file. But I thought I could just take and play Rook A1. Did I miss something here? What am I missing? So I just have g3, the queen supports f2 even. What? No, now I was just losing. Two pawns are way too strong now. I mean, this is just losing for white, or for black. Yeah, big shout out once again to Chessable, the main sponsor of the New York Marshals, of course. Um, I'm gonna be doing a stream featuring their, uh, their products uh, shortly, I'll do like an hour or two stream um, on, on one of their uh, one of their specific products in the uh, next couple of days once I'm back home. Thank you, Wittastic, for the five month resub. Thank you so much. This is just losing for 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 uh, for Lagarde. Queen f3 is probably good. B6, I think, is just winning. I mean, does he want some queen b1, rook d1, rook g1, king g3, check king h4, queen f6. Queen g5, queen f2, g3, rook h3, king g3, king h3 doesn't work, okay. King 
king f3, queen f5, king e2. Queen f5, king h4, queen f6, queen, king g3. King, queen g3. That might be, be a draw, actually. But I still should go for it. Don't really know what king h7 does. I mean, even queen f3 looks strong here. Actually, yeah, I think queen f3 just wins because he, he still he just can't trade. These two pawns are just cruising. Okay, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, game over. I mean, b7, I think both pawn moves work. I think just c7, c8, and b7 check is easiest, though. Yeah, and he resigns. Of course, rook takes c8 at b7 with this discovered check. So, another win. Um, thoughts on the current market, how I'm positioning myself. I'm not doing much. I'm going to bet, make a big bet if volatility goes through the roof. If it doesn't, I'll just stick with what I have. Um, but if we do crash, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just staying, I'm making sure I have enough cash left to do something major. Thank you to Chesbay for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much to the one and only Chesbay for the 40 gifted subs today. Thank you so much. I'm feeling good today. I feel groovy. I feel groovy. This vacation has been just what I needed, so I'm going to play great chess today. Slow down, champ. Do I position in JD? No, I, I mean, I'm off and off. I'm in and out of Baba, but nothing else in China. Must be, uh, must be the fresh Hawaiian air. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood. I'm in Hawaii. Like, does life get any better than that? I have not had any any uh, any uh, Red Bull, but yeah, I was gonna say though it's uh, it's it's good. Also, because the market crash, it sort of puts things in perspective. It's like instead of being a slave to money and all these terrible things, like you learn to enjoy life again. It's like when the market just sinks every day, and you go out and hike, and you don't worry or think about any of that stuff. It's like you free you free yourself. You feel free again. You feel young. You feel happy. So um, yeah, I'm 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 in good in a good mood. I did not go shark seeing. I went to several of the lookouts. I hiked in. I did a really really dangerous dangerous hike on one of the days as well. I was lucky I didn't um I, I was lucky I didn't like get injured because it was very very dangerous. Um, A taste of freedom can make a man unemployable. <laughs> that's deep. Is Maxim related to Christine? Oh, that's an interesting question. I didn't. I didn't actually think about the fact that Maxim Lagarde has the same last name as Christine Lagarde, who is she? Is she the IMF? Is she IMF? I think she's IMF or ECB. I don't know which one. Um, but I don't think so. But I don't know. Oh, you guys want me to watch another match? Let me see what I can pull up. Um, okay, Big Fish is still playing, so we'll watch his game. All right, clicked on his game. Now there we go. Okay, what? Oh man, oh man, did oh Fedo save one? Man, we were just smoking it. We we're just crushing it today. Oh my gosh, we're just crushing it. We're really crushing it. Ah, uh, she's ECB now, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was ECB or IMF, but yeah. Anyway, wow. That's a win for Big Fish.
Do I position Amazon? No, I don't know what Amazon's at right now, but I think Amazon is, is a great stock to look at once the smoke clears. Am I lagging? Probably. I, I'm, I'm using a, um, I'm doing it on my laptop, which is not a great laptop. So, uh, so if I, if I switch screens or something, it starts to lag. That's how bad my computer is. Yeah, so if I switch the screen to look at anything since I'm on my laptop, you guys will know because it will start to lag a little bit. Uh, thank you to Monks, Monk Kids 64 for the two months. Thank you so much. Oh, there's another game still going? Let's see. Who's still playing? Maxime is still playing. Okay. Use some of that $45 million to buy a good laptop. Well, I lost a lot of that $45 million. Um, okay, Kadir is in... Kadir is going to lose, unfortunately, but that's that's life. Nah, it's not good. It's, he's down a pawn. He's going to lose everything here on the uh, queen side. I mean, Maxim can even maybe just play king f1 and run the pawns on the on the uh, on the uh, queen side. But yeah, we're up by four points, so it's looking very good. So we're going to be up by three points after this game. I love that Naka is getting as many viewers as Bernie Sanders. Is that not proof that capitalism is greater than socialism? I don't know what is. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Last night was a very good night, obviously. Um... So, okay, so Gadir's trying to create some tricks with knight f4, I think, because it's still pretty ugly with rook a7 here. Match could be decided in the third round if I keep it smooth. If I keep playing smooth chess, we're in good shape. Who's board 2 for... Actually, who's board 2? I didn't even look. I don't want to flip, flip the screen because it'll lag it up, so can somebody tell me who board 2 is for, uh, for France? I mean, obviously, it's Bacro, Etienne, okay. I for, I, for some reason, I was thinking it was uh, Edouard. I wasn't thinking of Etienne. I was thinking of Edouard uh, Roma instead of uh, Etienne. It's above my head. Thank you. I'm not. It's not literally above my head, as you know, Chesapeake. But very funny. He carried 2024. Nah, I'm not. I'm not interested. And again, like the thing is, like, okay, Rook has seven. Yeah, but White's got three connected. Nah, this is over. Um, um, the thing is, like. Anybody who's young and successful, why would they want? Why would they want to run? Why would they want to put themselves through uh, through any of this uh, any of this mud? Like, like it's it's so terrible. Like you think about it. If any, if someone's successful in the business world these days, why would you want to go into politics? You're successful. People respect you. You do well. And then you go into politics, and people will find clips of things you said. They might even just flat out manipulate what you said. And it's just like, why do you want to put yourself through that kind of stuff? And it's just not worthwhile. There's a minimum age, I think it's 35, I think, is what it is. It's just like, you know, that's the problem with politics these days. And again, if you think about politics, anybody who's going to run who's younger now, they probably have like 10 or 15 years of, uh, of social media posts from Facebook and so forth. And you never know, like with Facebook, what happens, what happens with Facebook if they decide, well, we hate this candidate and they, they find a way to release data or whatever was on your profile from 20 years ago. I don't think that there's any laws against them doing that if they if they discreetly do that so wh why do you want to why do you want to do that why, why do you want to why do you want to put up with that it ha yeah it happens when you're successful but the thing is it's it's not mudslinging in the same way it's like the it's not it's not quite that brutal to that degree yeah, all those silly things done in college, exactly. And, and you know, like, when Facebook decides a candidate's a terrible person and they shouldn't be running for president, like, you know, what happens when they decide, oh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna find a way to leak this little bit of data from a post 20 years ago, because Facebook has all that data on everyone now. So, it's, yeah, that's the thing.
boardroom politics, yeah, I'm not saying that it's not the same kind of thing, but I feel like it's not, it's, it's not as harsh. It's still bad, but it, like, you're not going to see like, you're, you're not, you don't get beat, beat over the head to that degree. You still have it happen, but yeah. Thank you to Big Joe 200 x for the nine months. Thank you so much. So we're up by three points going to the third round. Um, so, yeah, don't post much on Facebook. Yeah, but I mean, think about, I mean, nobody is going to curate their life around running for president when they're 20. Like, that's just psychotic if you think like that. So, um, so yeah, it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it. Yang, Yang ran for president and escaped unscathed, yeah. The, on the, jeez, you guys, the picture behind me is the evolution of the surfboard. Come on, yo. Apparently, we don't have any West Coast folk in the chat today because anyone on the West Coast would know what that is in a heartbeat. I mean, come on, Kelly Slater, all these guys, like, come on. If you don't follow surfing, you're not a real West Coast type. Oh, uh, that is, uh, yeah, it's a flashlight. Yeah, that is a flashlight up there. I'm from BC and I've never seen a surfboard in my life. Dude, have you never been to, like, have you never been to, like, Tofino? Have you never been to the, uh, to the coast, coast island? They're not the coast islands. What are they called? The sea salt islands? Whatever they're called. But come on. East coast is not better than the west coast. West coast forever, baby. West coast forever. Forever. Um... I am in Kauai right now. I'm in Lihue, Kauai. That's where I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, you guys, let's let's take it down a notch. Let's relax. Let's not get too weird. Um, uh, real chess players don't go outside, right? Probably. I, I mean, I go outside. I'm a weird chess player. I don't fit the norm. That's the problem. Thank you to Tazayame uh, for the four months. Thank you so much. How did I feel during skydiving? I loved every second of it. It was the greatest thing ever. The rush you get from that is, like, really, really amazing. Like, that that's better than drinking coffee. You're feeling that high for, for a few hours. And why is where he car was from? He is coming home this year. I will never live in New York ever again. So I don't know what you're talking about, DG Road. But anyway, I'm playing for New York, so I did grow up there. Um, I do go back to New York every so often, but I will. Ne I'll never. I'll never live in New York again. <laughs> relax, Chespe. Relax. Let's let's all calm down here. Imagine the rush of your parachute didn't deploy. I think you have two. They, you have two two parachutes, though, right? I think it's two. I was not afraid. I loved every second of it. It's like you jump me, you're just like you're 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 feeling it. You're really feeling it. I am definitely allergic to NY taxes, yes. But yeah, I'm from New York. I mean what's wrong with New York? I mean, money is the only thing that matters in New York. That's why I don't like New York. You you don't live life. It's all about money, 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 work, work, work. That's not life. That's not living. I mean, New York is amazing for food. The cult culturally, New York is better than anywhere else. But uh, the thing with New York is, it's all about working, and it's all it's all about working and making money. And um, that's just not that's just not living life to me. 
But like, if you, if you want to go see shows like theater, I mean, they're nowhere as comparable to New York. You want to go eat great food of every type of ethnic, uh, every ethnic background. Like you want Ethiopian or you want like African, you, you want any type of food, you'll find it in New York. So the food in New York is incredible. Um, definitely a great place to visit. For, for food, for culture, I mean, there's nowhere that tops it, but I would never want to live in New York again. Don't let St. Louis spread lies. NYC is the chess capital of the U.S. I mean, it depends what, what, what you would define as a chess capital. Like, if you mean, like, actual top-level events, St. Louis definitely has it. If you look at the number of, like, kids, you look at the whole bro the broader picture of chess just on every level, um, New York is definitely vastly, vastly superior to St. Louis. There's no question about that. Um, uh, especially on the scholastic level, the, the amount of kids in New York you see playing chess. I mean, I would compare like places like Dallas, for example, to to New York, New York, but not St. Louis.